Hey guys, Mono here, and today I wanted to talk about movement and spotting enemies in Hella Loose. I feel like this is something that throws a lot of new players off, with half of them expecting a real hardcore milsim experience where you gotta take things super slow, and the other half playing like it's Call of Duty, just running around everywhere. In reality, movement in Hella Loose is very map dependent, and it's something in between running and gunning and taking it slow. And this goes hand in hand with learning to spot enemy players, since bad movement will just make it harder for you to understand where you're getting shot from, or for you to be able to spot enemies before they open fire. So if you're one of those players that complains about getting shot while seemingly in cover and stuff like that, then stick around because you should find the video quite useful. As always, before I get started, just a friendly reminder that you can find me live on Twitch, streaming three times a week, so if you want to come by, say hi, maybe watch a few cool games, or even squad up with me, then you're welcome to do so. You can find the link for my Twitch down in the video description. Alright, let's get over the basics. There's four main types of environments in Hella Loose. There's hedgerows, fields, forest, and urban areas. Movement across all of these follow the same basic principles, but can be quite different. I've done a video specifically talking about movement in forest maps, so check that out later. But for now, let's start talking about hedgerows, since they are so prevalent, and I think it's a great starting point for this discussion. The very first, probably obvious idea here is that you shouldn't run out in the middle of an open field. You should stick to running next to a hedgerow at all times if you can even when it means taking one or two minutes to get to one instead of taking a more direct route through an open field. In the long run, you will lose a lot more times dying and redeploying due to risky movement than the amount of time you lose by taking a safer approach. Does this mean that you should pause at every single opening in the hedgerow and go prone or something like that? No. If crouch running can hide your body due to some terrain elevations, and you're getting actively shot at, or you can see the enemy, then yes, but for the most part, you should be able to just run through the hedgerows. Running will reduce the amount of time it takes for you to reach the other side and therefore safety, so the faster you make it across, the better. Now, running through a hedgerow is still dangerous, you're still exposed from at least one side, so you'll have to think about which side to leave exposed. The basic rule here is that you have to take a look at the map and try to understand where the enemy is coming from. Even if it means exposing yourself to a large open field on one side, you will always want the hedgerow to be between you and any possible enemies. Surprisingly, running towards the enemy using a hedgerow that leads directly to them provides a huge amount of cover, so keep that in mind. The second half of this equation is learning to spot enemies, and the trick here is quite simple. 99.9% .9 of the time, you're not getting shot through the hedgerows. Yes, some hedgerows have a few bushes that you can hide behind and shoot through, but mostly you can't really see anything, so you can only shoot people that are really close. So 99% of the time, people are gonna peek the sides of the bushes. So that's where you wanna look for enemies in those positions. This might sound super obvious, but I do wanna cover all the angles to make the vid useful for new players of every skill level. Learn to recognize the shape of the hedgerows and always be on the lookout for the corners. This basic concept should help you a lot if you're struggling with the game. Next, let's talk about fields and let me say this right now. If you go prone on grass like this, you are not hidden. So people that think that you are hidden because you can't see anything here and because the grass is relatively tall, this isn't the type of grass that will hide you. This type of grass does hide you, but there's a grass loading issue which might leave you exposed for a few seconds right after someone spawns and you will get seen from super far away because the grass itself won't load after a significant distance. In fields like the areas in Foy, the only cover that you can find comes from either a height difference or by going prone at the sides of the roads. That's really all you have and it's what makes these maps super hard to play sometimes because depending on the sector layout that you get, you might have very few safe angles to approach the enemy position. That's just how it is sometimes. So that's 
Like, don't take that as a knock on your own gameplay. If you keep getting shot, that's just the way it is sometimes. So always take a look at the map and try and figure out which lines you can follow to reach a safe firing position or to reach the enemy. Flanking is extremely important in Helleduce, so if you're dying over and over again, you need to try a bigger flank. To find enemies in a field, try and take a higher up position, whether that means jumping on a stone wall or a cart or something. If there's tall grass, you want to do that because otherwise it gets really hard to see any enemies. In maps like Purple Heart Lane, you don't have a lot of hedgerows dividing the fields, but you do have a lot of trench lines. These trench lines are very safe to just crouch run across, but it gets very, very tough if you're fighting enemies inside that same trench line. That's one of the situations where you really have to take things super slow and even avoid doing things like throwing grenades because they will reveal your position and all it takes is just an MG gunner to just run a gun, you know, just spray the, the trench line and you're all dead. Urban areas should be very obvious to everyone. They are, you know, very similar to basically every single other game where you've shot in an urban area. So in urban environments, just make sure you check your angles by leaning and make sure you don't miss the roofs of buildings and windows. There are a lot of easy ways to get on top of some of the rooftops, especially on low sheds and stuff like that. And it's super easy to miss enemies if you're not looking at them at that level and you're just keeping your eye trained at the street level. Lastly, we have the forest maps. Going prone here is absolutely key. Again, I've done a full video on forest maps specifically, but forest maps are where patience is really a necessity. You have to go prone and you have to reduce your movement to an absolute minimum at times, even if it means waiting to reload because the animation will make you stand out. Once again, I won't go into detail right now on forest maps because I have done a video on that specifically, so check that out. The wave of new players that the game has gotten, you know, I've seen a lot of people taking the game very slowly, just taking a position on a hedgerow and waiting for an enemy to show themselves, just standing up and leaning and training your gun in a spot and stuff like that. You will very often get killed in these situations because you are not hidden when you do this. You need to peek back and forth in these situations. You can't just stand there. You might have trouble spotting enemies yourself, but an experienced player will immediately notice your little helmet poking off the side of a hedgerow. They will recognize that and they will take a shot and you're gonna be dead without even knowing what struck you. So that's it guys. I wanted to give some advice, particularly to new players that I constantly see struggle to spot enemies and understand the pacing of Hell Loose. It's a faster paced game that people think it is at times and spotting enemies is very easy once you know where to look for them, which is basically the positions that they can use to fire upon where you are. All right, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I hope I will catch you in the next one.